you too. What's up? It's your boy 360 Jeezy and today I'm going to tell you guys how to better your crown, how to more define your crown, how to take your crown to that next level where you're trying to go. All right. So yeah, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you're new to the channel, it's your boy 360 Jeezy. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we are back. Let me take this do-rag off to show you guys I actually know what I'm talking about. Let's do it. All right, YouTube, so when it comes to the crown area, I always look at my crown area differently than every other side. Now, what I mean by that, say you're brushing your right side downward, you're brushing your top, you know, straight forward, you're brushing your back at a slight slant, left side, same thing, towards your temple area. You know what I'm saying? The crown is a side in itself. Like this is a different area. So you have to brush differently than everything else. I'm gonna show you guys how I brush, what you're gonna need. You're gonna need your brush, whatever brush that you're brushing with, doesn't matter. And then you're gonna need something like a toothbrush, okay? This right here allows you to be real detailed uh, get into that area where it's closest to your crown as much as possible. This is important. So you're gonna need one of these. All right, so let me just brush my sides real quick so you guys know how I'm brushing my sides. My right side, I'm starting right here, going straight diagonal towards my ear, towards my temple area. My back, I'm basically brushing it at a slight slant, but at the end towards down to where my taper area is, I'm straightening it back up because I ultimately want it to come across like this. I don't want it to be at a full slant. So right now I'm turning it to where it's straight. Notice how I'm not going all the way towards my crown because my crown is a totally different side. When it comes to my left side, brushing it diagonal towards my temple area, behind my ear, brushing it towards my ear. Now for my top, it's basically at a slight slant, just a very slight slant, but not really, you know what I mean? It all depends off of how it's coming off of my crown at the end of the day. Um, one thing I have to say is that you guys wanna pay attention to brushing your crown more than, you You wanna come off of your crown as much as possible. So focus on your crown first. <sighs> that's kinda wrong. Okay, th that's kinda wrong. Not, not first. You wanna make sure you get all the waves set in first and then focus on your crown. But after you get all the waves in, after you get everything locked in, that's when the crown becomes more important than every other side. I'm gonna show you how I brush my crown. So with my crown area, I'm basically brushing it in a swirl-like pattern. So I created this, um, this centerpiece right here, which is your crown area. I had everything uh, coming off of it, and now I'm trying to get all the waves to flow directly around my crown. Now it's a lot of wavers that's out there that have crashing waves that go directly into the crown, and that's, that's not the flow that you want. You want everything to kind of flow around your crown, not directly into your crown. Let me show you how I'm brushing. So basically how I brush is that I, with this brush, I don't get too close to the crown area. I basically go by this first swoop right here and I'll stop right there. I'll come, I'll come off of that first swoop. Everything in here is totally different from what's out here. So I'll brush like that around my crown It's all an angle game. And basically, what's ever closest to your crown area, that's when the toothbrush comes into play. Let me zoom in real quick and show you. All right, you guys, so how you wanna brush your crown is that the, the closest you get to this crown area is how tight you wanna wrap around that crown area. So, 
just like this. I'm going in and basically going in a complete circle all the way around my crown. Now, when you get to this outer pieces, like right here, you want to bow out a little bit more. Okay. It isn't as tight as when you go towards your crown area, but with brushes like this, I don't even use it to brush these outer parts. This, this toothbrush basically is just for this inner part right here. I want these waves to flow fluently into my crown. As you can see, this one right here isn't flowing fluently like I want it. It's just going directly into my crown and that's not, that's not the way I want it to go. I don't want it to go directly here. I want it to bow out a little bit more. So that's why I'm basically taking this and bowing it out, forcing it to go around my crown. This is just the details in crown work, you guys. Um, if it's not that serious to you, that's that's okay. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do this, but if once you want to take that your crown to the next level, once you want to be untouchable and act, you want people to ask, how the heck did you get your hair like that so neatly? And this is just taking that extra step, going the extra mile to get your waves uh, uh, perfect. You know what I mean? So when it comes to my left side, I brush my left side differently from my right side because I have an off-centered crown. Um, my crown is on more on my right side. So this side definitely has to bow out a lot more than my right side. So when I do attack my, my left side, I basically bow out a lot more. So we're using my brush on my left side. I basically like to bow out, of course, I still have problems on this side. There's a fork right here and there's a fork right here. But a lot of times you guys just got to trust the process instead of taking this side right here and just dragging it all the way to this side. That's what you don't want to do. Everything work in sections and just be patient and trust the process. Like I said, working in here is not the same from working on this side. You have to bow it out. Let me also, let me also show you guys, um, what Ragged Up Reese taught me, he, he uses a comb and basically really gets into the detail aspect of the crown. So let me show you guys that. All right, so basically he takes a rat tail comb and manipulates his crown. So like I said, I want this wave right here to fluently come over here a little bit more. So what I would do is I'll take the comb right by the crown area and drag it and force it a little bit more over so it can fluently go in. And when you do this, you wanna rag up immediately. You don't wanna, um, you know, just continue on brushing and, and not really paying attention to your angles on your crown. This should be the last step you take as far as like your brush sessions. Your crown work has to be everything, man. Pay attention to your crown work and everything else will fall in place. You can also open your crown with this rat tail comb, basically pushing, pushing the waves to the side, getting it out the way. But you, you most definitely have to train your hair to swirl like this before you can actually, you know, get that perfect circle in your crown area. So just be patient with this whole process, man. It took me a minute to get my waves like this. A lot of hard work, a lot of, you know, days, nights, brushing just heavily. Being on a lot of people's lives, not being afraid to learn something new, just like this right here, man. I didn't learn something new by, by you know, just listening and actually asking questions. So again, shout out to Ragged Up Reese for this, um, you know, crown manipulation method.
All right, you guys, that's how you take your crown to the next level. That's how you detail your crown. That's how, you know, you perfect your crown as much as possible. Um, it's all about taking it to that next step, man. Like, I know a lot of it is above and beyond. You don't have to do this. This is just for my waivers that want to be elite. This is for my waivers that want to learn how to, you know, you know, get that perfection that they see the top waivers have you know what I mean everybody does this that's a top waiver that's in the game killing it you know what I mean they 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 really got detailed with it so that's how you take your crown to the next level if you learn something new please smash the like button hit the subscribe button it's your boy 360 Jeezy more videos to come especially wave videos there was a person in the comment that said hey Jeezy post way more wave videos man I see you doing a lot of haircutting videos and all that stuff I need you to do more wave videos well here it is I hope you like it and if you were that person comment down below it's your boy 360 Jeezy and I'm out of here peace